हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई पारुल अग्रवाल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन बियानी गर्ल्स कॉलेज वेलकम्स यू ऑल ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ गुरु के पी ओ नाउ आई एम डिलीवरिंग माई लेक्चर ऑन फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन गिवन बाय द विटैकर विटैकर इज अ साइंटिस्ट हुव गिवन और क्लासीफाई द वेरियस टाइप ऑफ एनिमल्स और ऑर्गेनिज्म प्रजेंट इन द एनवायरमेंट इन टू द फाइव किंगडम दैट फर्स्ट इज मोनेरा protista fungi planetary and animalia in monera has classified the all the prokaryotes bacteri prokaryotic bacteria including archaebacteria and eubacteria archaebacteria are some photosynthetic bacteria which can synthesize their own food by utilizing sunlight like methanogens first is monera which considering the prokaryotic bacteria including archaebacteria and eubacteria archaebacteria are all photosynthetic bacteria which can synthesize their own food by using sunlight or whether using the some chemicals like some methanogens and some chemosynthetic bacteria and it also includes some eubacteria which depend on other organisms for their food which do not synthesize their own food but the main thing is that they all are prokaryotic means their nuclear organization is very simple now next is protista protista includes all the euglenoids protozoans and dinoflagellates means all the organisms or the bacteria which are eukaryotic basically first of all they all are eukaryotic like euglena dinoflagellates or protozoans which includes the plasmodium and various kinds of bacteria now third is fungus fungus as we all know fungus they are the eukaryotic but they depend for their food on other organism they can't synthesize their own food and it also classify in various classes like ascomycetes basidomycetes which on uh, uh, on developing their various spores or their asexual reproduction or sexual reproduction next kingdom is planetary which includes the various classes that's thallophyta bryophyta pteridophyta gymnosperms and angiosperms and thallophyta as the name indicate the thallus like structure thallus like structure do not have any proper organization of stem leaves flower only a thallus like structure is present example is algae next is bryophytes bryophytes are considered as the amphibians of the plant kingdom amphibians as in because they grow to the shallow water basically they obtain their food from the shallow water their life cycle did not depend totally on water so that's why they are called the bryophytes and some modifications are present in the bryophytes as root like structure which we called as rhizoids are present in them now next is pteridophytes pteridophytes have some modification as they are higher classify uh, after the bryophytes so they have some modifications of stem root and leaves and first of all these are the first plant containing the vascular tissue vascular tissue as in xylem and phloem now the next is gymnosperms gymnosperms are the plants which containing the neck seeds neck seeds as in their seeds are not covered by an outer covering or any seed coat so they are classify as a gymnosperms they also have vascular tissue except they do not contain vessels in xylem and companion cells in phloem now next is and the example of gymnosperm we can consider as pinus cycas etc now next is angiosperm all highly organized plants are considered as angiosperm the basic character that important character is double fertilization and triple fusion is present in the plants called angiosperms they are also further classified into two first of all monocotyledons and dicotyledons 
Example of monocotyledons are like banana, etc., or all gramini family plants. And dicots are like oranges, all the seed bearing plants containing the seeds. Now, the last classification given by the Whittaker is Animalia. Animalia means considered all the animals and it is further classified into the chordates and non chordates having the vertebrae or having a notochord in their lifestyle life stage and further they are classified into the various classes now that's all for this topic thank you thank you and thank you for more details please log on to www.gurukpo.com